Alright, what's going on guys? <clears throat> uh, today we are going to be uh, playing some more Magic the Gathering. We got cast 20 blue or black spells, play 40 lands, and cast 40 feature spells. Um, to do that, blue or black, we are going to play Control Center. Uh, <sighs> going to get right into this. Ooh. On cancel. Let me make sure it's back into ranked. Yeah, ranked standard. All right. Ooh. Hopefully we can get some dubs today. Make it into gold two. Get um. Get a couple challenges done. Open a pack or two. Uh, I was thinking about making a video because I, I know a lot of people just like import decks off the internet and i was thinking about making a video where i like show how i go about making a deck um i feel like that could get some views going and i think a lot of people would enjoy this game more if they actually made their decks and then didn't just like download them off the internet all right let's see what we got here Do this one. Get that guy out of here. Callous Blood Mage out and a 1 1. Um, exile target non nude creature and opponent controls until jet. Just put target creature card with mana value X exiled into its owner's graveyard. All right, so we got a 4-3 to block. Um, he's probably gonna play this guy. Oh, wait, no. Well, he can. Dang, he's got a lot going on in this deck. Might have like every color. <laughs> All right, so this doesn't help me. Play. So we're going to play this guy, and we're going to play this guy. We're going to drag below one of these guys. <clears throat> So, hmm. here's the problem is, he's a 3-5. Wow, okay, so that's a little rough. Um, So 
So let's do this one. Put any number of them. Uh, we're gonna submit zero, and we'll put top done. Um, next in turn they're probably going to play a pretty good card this game or this turn and i'm going to uh counter that target spell <laughs> alliance whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control double devilish um i feel like he's got a better card but since i'm going to get another one of these next turn we're going to counter target spell This deck doesn't have a whole lot of uh, stuff going for it. can foretell this and then play this <clears throat> he's got a lot of So he's about to take off, um, which is to we'll pay its kicker. able to do two to him in turn there's got to be something good in this deck there's no way that this is it his deck is uh pretty good because he's just gonna keep making these guys <clears throat> and i'm assuming he has something Oh, his deck is just all token creature stuff. Okay. So he's gonna shoot me. That's fine, I'll let that happen. You're rid of one of them, buddy. to next <clears throat> can't attack we're gonna end turn so his whole plan is basically he uh <clears throat> we're getting rid of that guy i'll tell you that right now but he probably did that on purpose because now he's gonna play one of these and i can't counter it which is fine. Um, I 
but now's the problem is I have no cards, so. Uh, whenever a creature or an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, ugh, uh, alright, I can't really do anything. He's getting out a lot of these token creatures. He's gonna attack, he's gonna be able to deal three to me. I need to get down like a good card. I mean... I know he's got better creatures in this deck. Can I not get mana, please? <laughs> Can I please not get mana? Can I get creatures? Like, what's going on here, man? And I got a block. I lost this game because I literally am not getting any creatures. <laughs> oh my god. I got like six straight mana cards in a row. I love that for me. <clears throat> All right, well, we did play 14 blue or black spells, so we're going to go ahead and play again here. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping this match goes better than the last one. Uh, but yeah, let me know if, uh, I don't know, you're viewing this and to see a video on how to make a deck um i think i think a lot more people would have fun in this game if they didn't just go on the internet and download their game like download their entire deck like it doesn't take that much to make a good deck a lot of cards work with each other um and like even the decks that they give you like, they could be tweaked and made so much better, right? So I think... Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, super good at this game or anything. I just think, like, a lot of these people go on, they import decks off the internet. Like, this, that dude didn't make that deck. That's, like, 3,000 IQ to have cards in your hand that you get to just keep flashing back to and destroying the card. Like, there's no shot he made that deck. And if he did, he's not hes not at a gold level, right? That guy's definitely better than gold if he made that deck. Um, we'll play this. I really wish I could have got this blue dragon last game. That would have been cool. That's awesome. Okay, tell this guy.
Prosperous Innkeeper is a really good card to get right off the bat for him. Um, so I kind of need to get rid of that, to be honest. Like, bad. Need to get rid of that. So he gains on my... I need to kill this guy. I'm pretty sure this whole deck is centered around gaining life. So I need to kill that guy. Um, I need to get this guy in there. Alright. Well, we're going to play you. Um, we're going to play you. This next turn, I'll be able to... I'll be able to play this guy next turn, uh, which is kind of huge to have out a legendary dragon already. Getting a lot better creatures this game, or this, this round, than I did last round. And something tells me he's not getting what he wants, or what he needs, because he keeps, like, waiting out of his main phase a lot. He's trying to figure out if he wants to play these cards, or wait. <clears throat> but, if he could put a creature in, he can make this guy a 2-2. Which, I mean, no matter what, I'm blocking this guy with this guy and killing him. Or he can, he probably has, he might have like a pacifism or something in his deck to put on this. Let's see. Alright, he used his timeout. He's in deep thought right now, man. This man's out here going bonkers. He's, he's looking through all the possibilities, all the timelines. He's trying to figure out the one where he wins. Guess we'll see. I mean, he was definitely there. He was looking at his cards. So. That's a little strange. Yeah, I think I get this guy down. And I attack with all. And then this has ward four. So anything he tries to put on this, he has to pay for mana. In... On top of whatever it costs already so if he has a two cost like pacifism card which I think is still in this uh, he'd have to pay four more mana so he can't hurt this this turn and then next turn I'll be able to use this so I guess we'll see and he's not there So there's a chance he's not there, or he's trying to get me to forfeit the game by just taking forever. Um, but I'm not sure, honestly. This, this match isn't looking too good for him. Because I have seen this before where people will just, like they're, like, they're there, you know, they're, like, looking at cards and stuff, but they're not playing. So they just, like, wait and wait and wait. And it's annoying, but not my problem. Typically, they play cards, though. So maybe he just literally doesn't have anything to play. Like, they'll wait till the very last second, and then they'll play a card. Wait till the very last second again, and they'll go to the next turn, you know. He's not really doing any of that, so I guess we'll see. Or I just win this match, and it's over. Oh, 
It made him forfeit. Good game. I did go up to gold rank two. Or uh, gold tier two. Which is kind of huge. Um, Alright, I do need to play two more of these, so I'm going to do that. We might lose this next game, considering I feel like it goes like, oh, one hard game, then one easy game, then one hard game, kind of thing. <clears throat> this guy is a lower rank, but that doesn't really mean anything necessarily. Do have some pretty good cards here. Keep seven. That's kind of nuts. We're going to play this. He's going to probably be able to get another zombie creature out. I would assume, yeah. His whole deck. See this? I bet this deck's probably made by him. But, uh... uh to the graveyard, submit zero. I want to put you on top. This next turn, I definitely put in drag uh, the flash guy. Oh, wow. This is going to get bad. Um, okay. What? So does this guy get to untap next turn? Yeah, this is kind of a nuts hand that he got. In his first hand, he got literally his entire deck. Uh, his perfect fucking thing. Alright, so what I need to do is get rid of... can't play that because then I can't play this. So we're going to do this. Choose that. Why does he get to untap? Next untap steps. My guy didn't get to untap. That's tough. Well, I've lost this, so that's bad. Let's think here. I can play this guy. He's a 5-5. Five, five. This dude has menace, so no matter what, I lose this turn. Um, so we're going to play this. Uh, we can do that. We're going to play this. Whatever that is, it's gone. We're not going to attack. Can't kill me here, I don't think. But he is going to make this a lot harder. So, I mean, I've lost this game. <sighs> All right, so we're going to block.
that's tough. But we didn't go down. Um, but we did get a nice dub in. Um, and it looks like we got a pack. We did complete a challenge, so what I'm gonna do is store and buy another pack. Uh... I can't use these cards, so I should probably stop buying them. Uh, trying to think which one. I don't think I bought a lot of this one, so I want to be. Open this pack. I mean, these cards are cool and all, and I, I feel like they're good. I can't use these because they're not standard. They're alchemy. And I don't really play... Okay, so this guy doesn't untap during tap step. Whenever you gain life, untap lurking roper. roper. Beginning of uh, combat on your turn, target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end turn. Jaded cell sword enters the battlefield of mana from a treasure was spent to cast it. It gains first strike and haste until end of turn. Exile target creature you control to return that card to the battlefield. And we'll draw a card. At the beginning of each combat. Each creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. If it has the same name as another creature you control, put your card in your grave. Token other target. Non token creature you control gains first strike until and double team. That's pretty good. Gorion Wise Mentor. Vigilance. Whenever you cast an adventure spell, you may copy it. That's pretty broke. Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Turn target non lane permanent to its owner's hand. Controlled that permanent draw a card. That target creature. Target creature gets plus three plus one until end of turn. If it's your turn, that creature gains trample until it. Otherwise, it gains first strike until it. Dawn Heart Mentor enters the battlefield. Create a 1 1. Uh, white human creature token. Coven. Target. Creature you control gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until the turn. Activate only if you control three or more creatures with different powers. Sigardian Savior. When Sigardian Savior enters the battlefield, if you cast it, turn up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less from your grave. I pre um, but that is going to do it for today's episode. Uh, if you're watching and you want to know how to make a deck, comment saying like, hey, I'd like to see that, or whatever. Uh, I'll, go, I'll do my best. I'm still not the best at making a uh, making decks, but this looks pretty good. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.